What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting Apex Legends video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to manage your inventory in Apex Legends Season 8. Let's do it. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, managing your inventory has a lot that goes into it. We're going to go over some key topics in today's video. It's going to be ammo amounts, how many shields and heals that you're going to need, and then grenades, how many you should carry, if any. So we're going to break down every stage of every single backpack from zero all the way to level three. So let's jump right into the firing range and get to it. All right, guys, now that we're in the firing range, we're going to break down having a no backpack, like right on drop to the game, all the way up to the level three or the purple and gold backpacks. So let's get right into this. So I've already grabbed some items. You got your two guns. Let's say it doesn't matter what the guns are. <clears throat> you know, right off drop, you're not going to have a backpack. Okay. It's just not going to happen. So let's say you don't have a backpack. This is how I would break down your inventory. Okay. And this is how you need to prioritize having some items inside your inventory. So whichever guns you have, typically you're going to be able to find at least two stacks of ammo when you first pick the gun up. Um, so for my secondary item, I always carry two stacks of ammo for my primary. I find three stacks of ammo if I can. Um, and then the other five slots guys are going to be a med kit, which is, you know, it, it's a, it's a little bit harder item to find, but I typically find it, um, in the higher loot tier areas. So I always carry a med kit and then shield cells and syringes. These are the two most common items in the loot pool that are found on the ground so you're gonna always want for a piece of these and then me i'm i'm a grenade guy so i like to carry at least two grenades so if you were to drop and not have a backpack this is the way i would divvy out my loot inside my inventory until i found a bag now in some cases if you're out of uh ammo like that if you don't have any ammo and you're just two stacks a piece this is completely fine and then what i would do is i would use a utility item like ultimate accelerant if you're running like Gibbies or you're running Watsons or you're running people that need to use these really fast, um, or I would find a Phoenix kit. You can find Phoenix kits really, really fast, especially with the new um, armories. You're gonna find these items. Or if you really wanted to guys, you could just grab an attachment. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what the attachment is. If you're like, okay, I want, you know, I wanna carry this sniper mag because as soon as I find a sniper, I'm, I know I'm gonna wanna use a sniper this game. So finding the mag and carrying it, this is also good. You can do it this way if you want. This is perfectly fine at a no backpack level. Now, otherwise, you know, then you could you could stack up grenades if you really, really wanted to. You could do grenades and do it this way. All these different variations at no backpack is definitely the right way to go. This is enough ammo for a gunfight, especially early on to be able to win and then just replenish your ammo, etc., or swap out guns. So this is what I would do going into... A game if i could not find a, a level one backpack on to level one backpack so you found your backpack and now you want to fill it up with as many items as possible this is my default layout for my level one backpack inventory you're gonna have 180 rounds into each gun the reason for this is and i get a lot of controversy when i talk about this topic even with the my friends that i play with 180 rounds in either gun is enough to go through an entire fight okay now if you're in a situation where you're fighting a team and you guys are just picking or poking at each other and it's taking forever to win the fight then yeah you might run out of ammo if it's taking that long in that case then i would reevaluate some other things but or if you have like multiple third parties okay like you're you're fighting a team you kill a couple guys another team comes in but even then you should be able to loot fast enough to to replenish your ammo okay the reason I only use 180 rounds in each of my guns is because this is more than enough for any fight. Okay, more than enough for any fight. And then once you win that fight, you're going to be able to replenish your ammo. So I only do 180 rounds in each of my gun before I even think about upgrading it. I'd rather fill my bag with more utility items than anything else. Now let's move on to our heals and shields, guys. You're going to want two bats, two med kits, four and four. Okay, again, the most common items at this point. If you hadn't already found a med kit or a shield battery, you can make these inside of the replicators. I highly advise doing it. I'm um, at least getting two. If you have enough points to make more, then definitely get more. Um, and then I carry the two grenades for the ultimate utility. If you want, you can carry one and do like a Phoenix or drop the Phoenix and do, you know, another utility item like an ultimate accelerant or the mobile respawn or anything like that. 
this also works really really well or if you want your secondary to drop ammo then you could do it this way as well okay just drop ammo keep the secondary at 120 plus the mag and then run this exact layout you're gonna have good utility with your grenades and then an ultimate accelerator to get your ultimate back up and then you have plenty of heals there's no reason you should run out of all these heals in a single fight at this stage of the game you're probably getting to the end of zone one you're going to be hitting that midpoint into the mid game so at this point like this layout is enough for any kind of fighting more than enough heals to heal yourself or give to your teammates and then you have grenades and utility items to be able to use in and out of combat so this is my default go-to um normally i would probably drop the ultimate accelerant or the extra utility and keep the grenades and just go with the ammo because i'm more of a gunfighter so if you're more of a gunfighter instead of using utility items then definitely go with the ammo increase because you're just going to be slaying out but i love their grenades i always default to two grenades no matter what some in some cases i'll even drop um extra heals just to have an additional grenade so this is the default layout i would use at the level one backpack all right guys moving on to your level two backpack the blue backpack okay now same thing my ammo is going to be distributed by 180 a piece and then i'm going up by two more shield batteries and i'm adding an additional grenade okay the utility here is amazing you have again you have plenty enough heals for a fight four bats is actually insane until you get to end game but even then you probably don't need more than four shield batteries if you really wanted to drop four regular shields and grab two additional shield batteries to have six perfectly fine med kits and syringes you never need more than this you should never need more than four syringes and, and two med kits in a given game now if you're playing ranked and you want to be one of those hoarders and carry more of this towards the end game then that's fine but in this case you're gonna this is more than enough that you'll ever need guys you, your shields are more important you don't ever want to take health damage you want to take shield damage so having more shields to be able to heal yourself up is a lot better Another thing you could do, guys, if you don't want the additional grenades, just drop one. Phoenix kit, right? Have the Phoenix kit or, again, the utility item, mobile respawn beacon or ultimate accelerant. This is my default layout. Um, if you really were feeling like you don't have enough ammo or you're just poking from a distance, then I would pay, take my, uh, my main item or my main weapon and increase the ammo uh, to 240, 180 on the back end, and then my heals with the two grenades. Um, as the utility or support so this is my default at the level two backpack guys all right guys moving on to the level three or the purple and gold backpacks the last backpacks in the stage okay i did keep the ammo i always keep the ammo i want 240 rounds and then 180 in my secondary i added the additional phoenix kit which is going to be ultimate support um, and then I added one more grenade for sure because I love grenades. And towards the end game or just past the mid game, the grenades are just completely overpowered in the meta right now. It's probably a good thing that they reduced this down to not being able to stack these. Although if you're fused, stack the heck out of these um, and you're going to be dominating towards the end game. But Phoenix kit for sure. The four bats, two med kits, four and four, three, 240 ammo, 180 ammo. If you really want, you can get rid of this. And you can do um, two more shield batteries. Totally up to you. You could do it like this if you ha happen to not find a Phoenix kit. I prefer having the Phoenix kit here just because it's going to heal your health as well. And it acts as a secondary med kit. Um, and then four or four again. Or if you wanted to, you could drop Phoenix kit for four more regular cells. Because if you are playing ranked and you're in a position and you're poking at teams and they're hitting you, I'd always use regular shields over the shield bats until you get into those crazy gunfights where you have to pop shield bats real quick. Um, and then always three grenades in some cases i'll drop that for a teammate and then i'll just grab an additional grenade so i have four because towards the end game with um your legend comp depending on who it is is going to be insane uh, legends like horizon or with the black hole are really really good gibby with the dome shield or caustic especially are really really good so i like four grenades this is my default loadout four bats uh two med kits four and four and then four grenades but a lot of times i will swap out to this and have the phoenix which is plenty again more than enough ammo and heals and support to be able to win or just fight for a very long time depending on what guns you have if you have single shot weapons or sniper rifles then definitely have maybe have more ammo um, one thing i will mention in the inventory is if you are using two light weapons then what you would do for example is you would dump all of this you would dump all of that have another light weapon and then you would go up to 
just gonna grab the R3, and you would just go up to 300, 300 ammo. Um, but towards end game, if you wanted to have more, I would go up to 400 or 420. I would do this, the same amount of ammo as far as per slot. But if you are running double, whatever it is, double light, double energy, etc., then it's the same amount of uh, ammo slots, guys. You're just using double the ammo. So before, if you were using the lesser backpacks, then you would just decrease these slots by the ammo that you would need. You know, one, two, three, four, five. So you would have these two slots be something else, etc. So this is what I would do if I was using double any kind of weapon or uh, uh, ammo type. I would just double up on the ammo and it would just look like this. I'd have 420, which is plenty to poke. But I will say you will go through this really, really fast. It may not seem like it, but it definitely is. So this is my level three purple and gold backpack layouts uh i mean you could change all this you could do more batch you could drop grenades and just get more utility items depending on your team but that is my level four or level three backpack layout guys thank you guys so much for watching today's video on how to manage your inventory in apex legend season eight i know it gets a lot it's it's really difficult to manage your inventory i have teammates that never pick up grenades and fill it with lots of ammo i have some people that carry all shields and like hardly any you know like health heals like med kits and stuff so i hope this guide really does help you on to manage your inventory and kind of give you a baseline of how you should manage your inventory and then adjust it accordingly to your play style let me know down in the comments guys what kind of things you keep more or less of inside your inventory when you're playing apex legends and if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to slap that like button and if you guys do want more tips and tricks to improve your apex legends gameplay then consider subscribing to the channel guys and for me warlog as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace